Hey, how's it going? Well, this is probably going to be shaved here pretty soon. In about a week, I'm just going to shave it. It's just way too expensive to keep up. Barbers charge an arm and a leg. I mean, yeah, they can go to the skin, and I suppose I could go to the regular salons where they have clippers that don't go very close, but then it doesn't look good any time. I mean, the only time this really looks good is when it's nice and close. Uh, barbers charge an arm and a leg. And, you know, I'm spending more on, on these haircuts than I did when I was doing uh, makeup when I had the purple beard. Remember, I had all this eye makeup and stuff. Yeah, I... I'm spending more than I was when I was doing that. It's just like, no, this is over the top. I'm, I'm just not willing to spend that much money. And some people might say, well, it'll probably look better anyway. They probably didn't like the way that Mohawk looked in the first place. It is getting kind of thin, and maybe it's maybe it's a, a midlife crisis to be, to be doing it in the first place. So, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, my last couple of videos have dived into how there are a number of people out there especially people like Paul Joseph Watson and Black Pigeon Speaks, who continually push this idea that society is crumbling, and most of the things that they point out at it crumbling is because, well, essentially, uh, liberals are winning the culture wars. That's the main gist of it. You know, oh, look at the pride events. There's degeneracy. Look, they're promoting degeneracy on, on mainstream media. And then people complain because black people take a knee at a ball game. People complaining because women are acting more like men. People complaining because transgender people want to use the bathroom they want to choose. Um, <clears throat> just things that are pretty harmless, actually. You know, even kids twerking. I mean, is that really going to hurt anything? Give me a break. I mean, it, it, it's reminding me of... Uh, of you know, the, the news footage you see of back in the day of Elvis and people saying, oh, his, him gyrating his hips is going to, it's going to corrupt our children and it's going to corrupt society. And it, it's the same sort of shit. It's, it's the new version of that. Only it goes a step further and is like the people holding up the sign saying, the end of the world is nigh. I mean, if anything has been negatively affecting society as far as, you know, uh, it's, it's not the liberals, it's these, these things. These things have made people, this technology has made people do some really stupid shit. It's caused a lot of trends. There's a lot of challenges. You know, oh, look, the Tide Pod challenge. I mean, just look at all this stupid shit that's come out from these, okay? But I still don't think that's going to end our civilization, you know, I mean, if, if, we, if, we ha if we had this technology back in the 80s, you can guarantee there would have been some really stupid things caught on, on camera, you know? Yeah, not the same types of things, and maybe not as rampant, maybe not as much of the selfie culture as we've got now, but, uh, you know, um, but it's, this is not going to end our civilization. If, if climate change may eventually end our civilization, you know, it, may, it might take quite a long time, but it, it might eventually, you know, really, I mean, or take us close to ending our civilization. But there, there's more important things to worry about than whether or not lefties are doing crazy things and it get, gets caught on camera. Okay, Antifa stopping the free speech of fascist groups like, uh, like the Patriot Prayer Rallies and the Proud Boys... You know, them stopping their freedom of speech, that's not, gonna, that's not the end of civilization, okay? Now, I mean, what I really wish would happen, but it's not going to happen, is that people would just leave these, these pra patriot prayer rallies and uh, the Proud Boys rallies. I wish people would just leave it alone like we used to. Just let them have their stupid little march or, or get-together or rally, and then it gets ignored, and, and everyone moves on. But now the way that it is, people put this stuff out in the out up in front and say, look what's going on, and you give them free publicity. And I think it's stupid to give them free publicity, but that's, that's the world we live in now. But that doesn't mean our society is going to come crumbling down. It doesn't mean civilization is going to come to an end. You know... Just stop it with this fear-mongering. Stop listening to the people that are doing the fear-mongering. It's ridiculous. It's over the top. 
It's holding up a sign saying the end of the world is nigh, and it looks stupid. Maybe to some of you who are stuck in this mode, you no, no, really, it's really this bad. No, it's not that bad. And generally, things have been getting better for, for everyone. You know? Especially um, uh, marginalized groups, especially for LGBT, especially for women, especially for black people. Things have been getting better. Now, it might seem like we've taken several steps forward and we took one step back with Trump, you know, and there are some volatile things in our culture since Trump was elected. You know, I, I won't deny that. But that doesn't mean the end of our culture. It doesn't mean the end of civilization. You know, it's a, it's a little glitch in the, in, the, in the matrix, so to speak, and uh, we're going to move on. That's how it's going to be. Stop making such a big deal out of things that really aren't a big deal.